You're watching Round Roanoke, your source for what's happening in the Valley. I'm your host, Jason Lisk. Do you have a budding veterinarian on your hands? Or a student that wants to know more about taking care of animals? The Roanoke Valley SPCA has several summer offerings that are sure to get your animal lover inspired during their summer break. Here to tell us more about the day camps and other summer programs is Denise Hayes with the Roanoke Valley SPCA. Denise, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So quickly, just uh, tell us what the SPCA does and, and Sure. So um, the Roanoke Valley SPCA is here in the community for almost 100 years now. Our anniversary is next year, and we're trying to create a community where there are no more homeless cats or dogs. We really do that through our mission, which focuses on um, adoption, of course, intervention, and prevention. And most folks know about our adoption efforts at our facility, where you can come and adopt your next best friend. Mm -hmm. We work on intervention, which is really um, focusing efforts to prevent animals from becoming homeless. So that's done. We offer financial assistance to folks struggling to pay veterinary bills. We also so have a pet food pantry for people who need assistance with pet food. But one of our most exciting efforts is through our efforts of prevention. And we offer um, two low-cost spay-neuter clinics in the area. But one of the most exciting and fun aspects of prevention is our summer program offerings for kids in the Roanoke Valley. Right, and that's the edu and that your work extends into the education area. Absolutely. Tell edu us about that focus. Education is really the best way for us to create the next generation of animal welfare advocates. Those are the kids who are going to be able to truly make a difference. And so we are offering summer camps throughout the summer from the middle of June to middle of August. We have three different options based on the age range of the kids involved. So our Animal Adventures program is for rising first through rising third graders. And that program is a half day opportunity and really focuses on kids who are just beginning to express an interest in animals. There's hands on activities to interact with pets. They'll learn about proper caring for pets. So maybe your kid has always been bugging you to get a puppy or a kitten. This is a way to really give them some insight into the aspects of really caring for a pet. Mm -hmm. okay. Then the next um, summer offering that we have is for rising fourth through rising sixth graders, and that's our pre-vet science camp. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more involved. It's a full day of camp. It's held at the SPCA, but it's unique in that we offer field trips. So kids who participate in that program will be going to veterinary clinics to take tours, to horse farms to visit and learn about horses, but they also get to go to the um, Virginia, Maryland Regional Veterinary Teaching School in Blacksburg. So they'll be going to Virginia Tech to learn and tour the school, how to become a veterinarian, Great. participating in all kinds of hands-on veterinary activities. Okay. Last but not least <laughs> is um, our vet science camp, and that's really for rising um, seventh through rising 10th graders. Mm -hmm. It's a very hands-on, in-depth, science-based experience for kids. So they'll learn how to give injections. They'll learn how to do sutures. They also wow. will go to Virginia Tech. They'll go to the horse farm as well. Um, but a lot more hands-on, science-based activities for those kids, learning how to use a microscope, what you can find in a microscope. Wow. Um, really interesting stuff. Yeah, sounds very interesting. Do you have anything for adults like that? Because that <laughs> would be something that I would be interested in attending. It would be a lot of fun, but we haven't branched out <laughs> to the adults yet. <laughs> you also have, aside from these great summer programs, you have uh, a program throughout the year called uh, Kind News. We what do. Is that about? Um, again, it's really focusing on creating that next generation of animal welfare advocates. And any teacher that's in the Roanoke Valley that's interested in participating can give us a call. And um, we provide free of charge to the teachers a classroom set on a monthly basis. It's a magazine for each of the children in the classroom, but then also a cross-curricular lesson plan for the teacher that focuses on humane education, anti-bullying initiatives, taking responsibility, because caring for pets is a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. So it's Absolutely. another way we can help the kids in the community. Great. Um, back to the summer camps really quickly. Um, a unique thing about these is that they're limited to a certain number of students, and why, why is that? They're limited to 12 students per session, so it's a very small class size. And um, we have two instructors for each session, and the reason for that is because to do the true hands-on science activities, the suturing, the injections, being able to interact with the animals and stuff like that, you have to have a smaller group. Mm -hmm. So every kid who comes, it's not just sitting and 
learning and watching somebody else do it. Each kid will get to participate themselves. Great. And where can we find out more information about these camps? Absolutely. The best place to do that is on our website, which is just www.rvspca.org. And off there, you can find a link to our prevention programs. And summer camp is included in that. Wonderful. Well, Denise, thank you very much for coming in and talking about these camps and what you other activities you have throughout the year. Thank you so much. You can find out more about the SPCA summer camps and programs and other happenings in the Roanoke Valley on the community calendar coming up at the break. I'm Jason Lisk and you're watching Round Roanoke on Cox 9. Thanks for tuning in.